By the end of this video, you're going to learn how to create highly converting, highly profitable, and beautiful landing pages just through ManyChat. This means you don't have to buy a ClickFunnels subscription or any other landing page software to generate your own leads and to get more messenger subscribers for your business. Let's hop on my computer so I can show you how to make a ManyChat landing page step by step. Let's go. Okay, let's go through step by step how you can create a ManyChat landing page. If you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and tap that notification bell. And then while you're at it, hit a like on this video so you can be a part of the biggest and smartest marketing goon nation on YouTube. And I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday about how to create highly converting mini, mini chat messenger bots and how to create Facebook ads that convert. So how do you even start by creating a landing page on ManyChat? Let's say you don't want to create a landing page through ClickFunnels or any other leads or lead ad software. So the great part about making a ManyChat landing page is that it's actually one of the free features of ManyChat. So all you have to do is just you go on your ManyChat profile, you go on the left hand side, you go into growth tools and then you click on new growth tool. And then there are a bunch of widgets and a bunch of uh, other uh, features with ManyChat, but the most fun one and the one that we're going to focus on today is landing page. And since there's not a pro on it, we can use it for free. So you click on the ManyChat uh, landing page feature, and then this is where you get to build your ManyChat landing page. So this first step here is called the initial state. So this is what people are going to see once they click on your link. So I'm going to actually build this mini chat uh, landing page from the ground up. And I'm actually going to use it for myself so I can get more messenger subscribers for my business. So pretty much what I like to do is there, there are two different te uh, plate temp page templates. You can use text and media and media and background. I like to use media background for this reason. So, so you can have a video playing in the background or an image. So I'm just going to put an image right now in the background and I'll just skip over that. Okay. So this is just an image of me when I was in uh, Portland, Maine. Obviously you want to have it so that it faces the right way and you want to adjust the text coloring so that it actually pops out. You can also add an overlay to the image to the background as well. So you can add any color. So a nice black overlay would look nice a blue one so far and so forth. So pretty much what you want to do is you want to take like a, I like to use like native, like my own photos. Like I don't want to use like any stock images for the most part, because this looks more personable. It looks more fun. It looks more personable and it's not just a random stock photo that anyone can get. So you can take a photo of yourself or, you know, any photos that you have of having a fun experience or having a fun time and so on and so forth. So pretty much now that I made my background, so show description so the description is pretty much what you have here so you can turn it on or off if you like and then the button type is to send to messenger so pretty much when they click here your your messenger bot is going to actually send them a message and you can choose the different colors that shows up on your landing page so for example i want the headline to possibly be blue or black or red for the most part let's go with yellow because that's the most we can see the yellow the most uh obvious and then you want to click on here to actually change it so you can i guess since i want to get more let's say subscribers on youtube for the most part let's go with saying something like are you making these common fb ad mistakes so this is the headline i came up with and I just like to ask a question because, again, it piques curiosity and it gets people actually interested. And then for the description, uh, I'm going to just, uh, just tell people, give them a call to action. So I'm just going to say is click below to learn how to fix these mistakes ASAP. And then let's change the description color background to yellow as well for the most part, right? And then you want the button background. You can change it to any color. It could be blue. It can be white, but I like it blue because it pops out more. And then button size. You don't want to make it small because that makes it really hard to tap on. You want to make it large. 
and then button you can actually change what it says so if you can say send this to me uh, send to Meth messenger get this in messenger there are a lot of different button sizes you can choose and you can say I'm gonna let's do just send me updates for the most part well in this case we're just gonna go with uh, get this in messenger and you can also change you can also have a video playing in the background as well so it could just be like a video of you walking or a video of you having a fun experience or something like that something that pops out and looks very relatable and you know that gets people you know making feeling a certain emotion would work best if you possibly can so once we get the initial state done we have to we now go on to the next step which is the so the submitted state is what's going to happen after the person clicks on your button right here so what's going to happen is thank you for reading our message of course we can adjust this and you can adjust the background just like we did in the just like we did in the initial state so thank you for reading our message so i'm just going to say thanks your video is on the way so pretty much what i want to do is maybe redirect it to my youtube channel for the most part so just paste my youtube link over here or i can have it to show a new message for the most part so pretty much i'm just going to have it to show a new message and then you can change all the background stuff here and then once they do that they get into an opt-in uh, message so what is the opt-in message so pretty much what happens is in the initial state the customer is going to click on this and then it's going to get sent to this page and then what's going to happen is they're going to receive a messenger they're, they're going to receive a message through uh the many chat messenger bots and then they get into this opt-in message so to edit it to make it a customized uh, message you want to click on edit and then hold on, let me let's just save this uh, let's not make this active right now and then it's saved like that so then we can click on edit so then you can edit the first message that someone sees so what I'm gonna do is welcome so I'm gonna say welcome first name thank you for subscribing the link to your video is right is right below and then I'll say, be sure to leave a comment once you are done and fix those mistakes. So, and then I, you always want to keep that they can unsubscribe by saying stop. And then what I'll do is I'll add a button, open to website, and then I would paste my YouTube video, which I'm going to do just that because I want to go forward and back for you guys. Okay, so I pasted my YouTube video and I'm going to just adjust the button and say, go like view now and then once they click on that and just do it with a smiley face so then if they click on it so in order for them to become a subscriber they have to first interact with your messaging in some way shape or form so what I like to do is I'll add this action here so what I'll do is first thing I want to do is subscribe them to my messenger sequence so pretty much what a sequence is is you can think of it like an email sequence and email marketing so you just click on subscribe to sequence and you enter a sequence that you've made uh, let's say here and then to make a sequence you just go on to automation and uh, sequences right here I will go into a video in detail about how to make many chat messenger bot sequences that is on the way so don't you worry about it so let's just go into the growth tool I was just in so opt-in actions so uh, let's see you want to click on edit and you want to click let me fix the button fix the button to view video now and it didn't save so make sure you always save the preview or always give it the ability to shave to save so would you hit actions and then subscribe to sequence download lead to call for the most part right so be sure you have specific sequences that fulfill your specific goals so for this sequence is they downloaded the lead magnet which in case is this video and then I want to book them on a call if they're interested let's say if you're just trying to get more sales you might want to have a sequence that gives them value you give some value and then ask for a buy or something like that so make sure so make sure that your sequence is reaches the goal you want them to reach so then you want to make sure you hit publish and then oh there's a enter URL and I thought I did that 
uh, here we go, done, hit publish, and you are all set. And also, forgot to mention, you can preview it as well, so you can see what it looks like in desktop and on mobile as well. I mostly want to do mobile because most people look at these types of ads on mobile as well. And well, I, my spelling is just awful, but oh well, we'll ignore that for now. So opt-in action, so once you do the opt-in action. Okay, so we're back on to opt-in actions. So you can also add the subscriber to the sequence here as well once they do it, but you have to make sure that they actually click and interact with your ad. So there are two ways to get people to subscribe to your sequence. You can do it on the flow that you made, or you can do it from right here, but they have to interact with your mini chat messenger ad first. So then once you do all that, you can now click on setup. And what you wanna do is activate the widget, the widget, so you click on active, and then you go on setup, and then you get the URL landing page. And then to track data on this landing page, you can post the Facebook pixel ID that you have right here. And if you wanna find the Facebook pixel ID, you can just go to your ads manager, go on to the pixels, and then your pixel ID should be close by to it. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna actually show you guys how to actually find it right now. Okay, so then once it loads, your pixel ID is right here. So you can copy it and then paste it right here. So once you paste the Facebook pixel ID, you just wanna see what the landing page looks like. So this is what it looks like on desktop for the most part. And most people are going to be on mobile anyway, but I, you still want to optimize it to look good on desktop. So what I would do is I want to flip this image around. So just you can just go on Canva or any other image editing or rotating software just to flip it around. And then once you do that, uh, we can actually go and run this bad boy to an ad. So what you want to do is you want to copy this. You want to copy the link. And then you want to go on to your ads manager and you want to create an ad and then you want to run it to traffic because you want people to go into your link. You want people to get off Facebook and go to your link. So we're going to click on create ad. We go on to traffic, Oops, start over. We go to traffic. Then you can just skip rates straight. We can skip straight to the ad. <laughs> and then you can just paste the link down here. And then I've made a ton of other videos of the ad structure, the targeting, all that fun stuff that you need to do before you run the Facebook ad to make sure that people actually click on it. And that, and then you just paste it right here. So boom, that is how you create a mini chat landing page. Click on the video up there where I show you guys how to create a successful and profitable messenger ad campaign.